Um, thank you, Your Honour. So this morning is a directions hearing in relation to a summons which has been issued by the Royal Commission dated the uh, 4th of February 2015, which is known as um, SBIC 153 for the Royal Commission's purposes. It's a summons that was directed to the Catholic Church Insurance in order to produce a range of documents. Uh, the documents are related to investigations undertaken by Catholic Church Insurance. Where a claim is made, they investigate in order to determine whether the relevant insured had prior knowledge of the propensity of the named offender or alleged perpetrator in relation to child sexual abuse. And Your Honour will know from a number of hearings which have been conducted uh, most recently in Ballarat that tendered were documents that were created by CCI as a part of that investigation into claims against Ridsdale. And they took the form largely from the documents tendered of uh, interviews with relevant people within the church. Now, the Royal Commission has, over the last year or so, identified particular perpetrators in which it has an interest and sought by way of summons CCI documents in relation to those, and they have been produced. Earlier this year, after discussions with the Catholic Church Insurance, a draft summons initially was uh, provided to them seeking those files but not in relation to uh, perpetrators which we knew and named, but in relation to all of those cases that they had where they had determined prior knowledge. The uh, return date for the summons was two months, and that was based on information we received uh, suggesting from uh, CCI that it would take at least two months, and on that basis we gave a two months return date. Uh, now, there have been various discussions between officers of the Royal Commission and CCI and um, Gilbert and Tobin from that date. On early May, we were told that Gilbert and Tobin had been retained by CCI to undertake a review of CCI files, um, presumably in order to determine whether they fell within the terms of the summons. It became uh, increasingly clear to the Royal Commission that uh, CCI were experiencing difficulties in locating and reviewing the relevant files. And in order to assist, uh, we provided a list of orders and or dioceses for them to prioritise in relation to the searches they were undertaking to comply with the notice. Uh, in return, Gilbert and Tobin at this stage who were involved in the review provided a, uh, a list of dates by which they proposed to provide documents required by the summons in respect of the priority diocese or orders. Now, uh, that timetable has largely, it has to be said, not been met. We have received, as I'm told, three tranches in respect of uh, one diocese and one order. The documents, I think, are complete in respect of each of those. Uh, in order to properly understand the issues facing CCI, uh, we sought from them details as to the way in which their processes were carried out to satisfy the notice. And uh, we were told that... Um, a list was initially created by CCI of those perpetrators they believed fell within the category. And um, it was based on that that they were continuing to search for documents. We understand now that some 1,500 files have been located by CCI which 
are allegations or claims made to CCI in relation to a relevant insured of child sexual abuse. Now, Sorry, these are just uh, defined as files where a claim has been made, is it? That's as uh, I understand it, and if I have that wrong, I'm sure Mr Gray will um, provide the... I've been the... told there's 1,500 of those. Well, 15, those 1,500 relate to the priority diocese or orders that the Royal Commission has provided in order to assist the process to become more efficient. However, I'm told this morning... Do you know morning, how many dioceses or orders that covers? Half a dozen or so. Oh. Uh, I can tell you the precise number, but it's in that order. I was told this morning that there are other files in relation to other orders and dioceses that didn't fall within our priority list, and that number's 460. So, therefore... Those files... Well, presumably those files have been located to... Well, in order to number them... Um, I assume that, Your Honour. So therefore, there appears to be 1,960 files which have been uh, identified as falling within the terms of the summons insofar as their child sexual abuse. The next step, as I understand it, that has been taken is that uh, there is a review undertaken. And I think initially uh, CCI has undertaken the review to provide the files to Gilbert and Tobin. And we're told that Gilbert and Tobin then undertake a subjective review for material responsive to the summons. Now, subject to what Mr Gray has to say, uh, I understand that that is firstly to determine whether there was prior knowledge discovered in the course of CCI's investigations and secondly, whether that prior knowledge investigation resulted in a determination because the terms of the well, summons... It has to result in something, doesn't it? Well, it can result in a determination... Determination, yes or no? It can result in a determination that the um, insured is indemnified or is not indemnified or is only partially indemnified. Uh, my understanding is by no means complete that there was a prior knowledge investigation that, as it were, petered out. But Your Honour's correct. If it petered out and there was a complete indemnify, indemnification under the policy, then clearly prior knowledge wasn't accepted. Mm. Now, Your Honour, the purpose of this directions hearing is to move this process along in order to have these documents produced because it is beginning to impede the Royal Commission's work that these documents are not available. Uh, and, Your Honour, I, I suggest that there are ways in which that could occur. Given that we now understand that 1,960 files have been identified of child sexual uh, abuse, claims relevant to that, uh, a new notice could be issued seeking production of each and every one of those files. And given that they have been identified and on the assumption, again, Mr Gray can correct me if I'm wrong, that they are located either with CCI or with Gilbert and Tobin, those files could be produced very quickly. Uh, and that would mean that the work that CCI have determined is necessary to be done <coughs> by Gilbert and Tobin, which obviously is time-consuming, would not need to be done. Uh, another option Your Honour might wish to consider is if it is the fact that it is determining the outcome of the investigation of prior knowledge which is causing delays, but then again a new notice could be issued uh, lim limiting it to an investigation of prior knowledge. But I accept what Your Honour said earlier, that any investigation has to have an outcome, whether recorded or otherwise. And given that, uh, Your Honour, my submission would be that Your Honour consider the issue of a notice seeking all the files. Now, I've had the opportunity of speaking to uh, uh, Mr Gray and those who instruct him uh, this morning, and as I understand it, uh, there has been reconsideration of the production schedule that had previously been provided to the Royal Commission, with the result that all of those prior prioritised ICs and orders would be produced by the 15th of August. However, the other files, that is the some 460, 
uh, files, there is no deadline provided by um, CCI and Gilbert and Tobin. And uh, Your Honour might consider that not having a timetable in respect of those files provides some difficulty for the work of the Royal Commission. So therefore, in my submission, the, Your Honour should consider issuing a notice uh, in the terms of seeking all of the 1960 files. What's your understanding? Is the 1960 all of the claims that have been made uh, to CCI in relation to sexual abuse of children? That's as I understand it. Because those files firstly had to be identified sure. to then determine prior knowledge, etc. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Gray. Your Honour, uh, may I start by handing up a short outline, which is only a page long, so Your Honour sees. I don't think I need it, Mr. Gray. I'd, I'd like to, otherwise, I'd need to put it on the record, Your Honour. That uh, it also. No, no, no. It also what contains we need to our. Solve, we need to solve yes. a practical problem. That's what we need That's to That's what do. this goes to, Your Honour. Well. Ms Finesse suggests there's one of two solutions. Uh, I think there may be more than one or two. Well, the the one point? that we have proposed, Your Honour, um, is a revised production schedule, which I have given to um, Ms Finesse and could hand up to Your Honour, if that would be of assistance. with the terms of the summons are uh, many, but they boil down perhaps to two. I don't know if Your Honour has the summons Mr. Gray, I'll there. hear you on this, but I'm not really interested. Um, Ms Finesse is suggesting that we issue a new summons. Yes. Which sweeps away any of the technical construction issues that we might choose to debate. And yeah. Frankly, I'm attracted to do that, given the history. Well, the short point, Your Honour, if I may respond to that directly, mm. is that uh, on my instructions, the likelihood is that the Commission will get the documents it needs and wants, and which the CCI is only too willing to provide, more quickly under the uh, proposal that I've just handed up than if 1,500 or 1,900 files in their entirety are simply handed over. Of all, oh. all the work well, that has been done. Well, I think you might, have to, you might have to leave me to judge that, I think, Mr Gray. Well, that would involve, Your Honour, taking some account of how the work has been approached so far. Um, the, the summons does call for documents. No, no, you misunderstand me. Let's sweep the summons away at the moment. Yes. The Commission needs the files in order to understand what the history, overall history, has been in relation to denial of claims. So forget about the existing summons. I'm quite happy to issue a new summons, which is the most, in terms, which provide the quickest way home. Yes. And we'd be very happy to cooperate in well, if such I a summons. Might if be I issue a summons for all the files uh, in respect of claims for child sexual abuse, that'll sweep all this technical problem away, won't it? I'm not sure that it does, Your Honour. Why not? I want to just pardon me a second. The 1,900-odd files that Ms Furness has referred to, that is 1,500 approximately, okay. relating to the five prioritised and 460-odd okay. other, are not... First of all, they're not 1,960 separate claims. A folder or a file, as CCI's terminology applies, could be a 600-page uh, folder full of many documents, or it might be one single page. Of the 1,900, many more than one might refer to the same 
claim in the terms in well, the way look, that... I'm not even troubled by that. You tell me what the description is and I'll issue a summons. Quite. Get all those documents and we'll have a look at them. Yes, I think that would be necessary with respect, Your Honour, because 1960 is not, as Your Honour may have supposed, all the claims. It's the claims... It's how, many, the, how many more claims? I don't know, but it, the 1960 is in response to the summons. The summons calls for documents where... A determination has been made, not not either way, but one way, that there was prior well, knowledge. Well, I don't know about that, but... Um, well, that's what it says, Your Honour. Well, I want to know when there was a claim made, Mr Gray, and I want to know what's happened to that claim so that I can sort out those where prior knowledge was accepted and where prior knowledge was rejected as a proposition. Right. Well, the now, current summons doesn't do that, Your Honour. <laughs> Maybe that's right, Mr no. Gray. I've said three times now. Yeah. We'll write a new summons. And we're happy to cooperate in that. Your Honour, I want CCI wants, wants well, me I'm to I'm sure say. they do. I've, I've, had, I've had many discussions with CCI and I respect their willingness and yes. indeed the assistance they've given the Commission so far. Thank you, Your Honour. We've just got to solve a practical problem. Understood. Now, what's the formula of words that'll get me all those files? Uh, that I would need to take instructions on and discuss with Ms Finesse, but that can be done, Your Honour. Well, let's do it right away. I'll take a short adjournment. You can sort out the formula of words, and we can uh, expect to, you can you can expect to be asked to provide those files within a matter of days. Well, I'll take instructions, Your Honour, but I think that will be impossible. No, but it won't be, Mr Gray. It's just a matter of if they've been identified, they'll be somewhere where they can be collected together and brought to the Commission. I'll take instructions. An appropriate fee will be paid in relation to that's not the issue, Your Honour. I know, I know, but uh, Mr Gray, this has been going on for months. The Commission has a limited lifespan. We have a schedule going forward of um, public hearings and we have to now face up to the fact that everyone has to work very hard to achieve what we promised the government we would do and that is finish by the end of 2017. Yes. And CCI, Your Honour, is entirely... I have, no doubt, about, I have no doubt about endeavor. CCI's willingness, as I said before. They have assisted the Commission in every way they can, but we have to solve this practical problem. Certainly. We cannot allow time to be spent while people are identifying, is this inside this technical collocation of words or is it outside? We just need the files so we can have a look at them. So what I'll do, uh, Ms Finesse, unless you've got more to add, is I'll take an adjournment now and you, Mr Gray, can sort out the formula of words. I'll indicate, Mr Gray, I'll issue a summons in those terms and it will be a matter of days for production. All right? Thank you, Ron. Yes, I'll adjourn. Let me know when you're ready. Yes, Ron.